Hello, Skelevatorites, and welcome back to the next stage of this Snake Mountain build. This new one is, again, loosely based on the Filmation Snake Mountain, but I'm definitely incorporating the Super 7 Classics um, design elements as well as the Vintage Playset design elements. So um, sit back, enjoy, and watch my progress so far. I also want to say thank you all for returning and watching these videos and please be sure to click like and subscribe and tell your friends about the Skelevator channel. Enjoy! Hello Skelevatorites. Uh, thank you so much for watching today's build video. Um, I wanna take a little break and just uh, let you know about something that's really, really cool uh, that a friend of mine sent my way this past week. So um, for those of you that, that watch me uh, on Instagram and watch me on Facebook, you know that this came and I was really excited about it. Um, this piece was sent to me from Chris Pelkey um, of CP Creations, and you can find CP Creations on Facebook. Um, he has a page over there. Now, he sent me this, and the reason why I'm using this video to talk about it is because you know I'm a fan of, of making things, and I'm a fan of people who make things. So Chris sent me this. I was not expecting it. It was a huge surprise, but I want to show you this Skelevator um, sculpture. Now this is um, judging by the 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 quality of it, the weight of it, and the, the material. It's 3D printed, um, and um, actually this is my first time. This is going to sound silly, but this is my first time ever holding a 3D printed um, thing that I know of. Um, so look at this, and he's using uh, the coloration from the vintage Skeletor action figure. In fact the first version and uh and he's got the uh he's got the Darth Vader helmet but it's purple um because those are my favorite colors and are one of my favorite colors and then the Skelevator logo that he used from um from my original design just changed a little bit so it'd be completely horizontal like that but isn't this amazing listen I just wanted to take a moment to say you should all go check out CP Creations on Facebook and I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank uh, the patrons of this channel, My Buddies Customs, Carol Geis, Don Roberts, um, Motu Origins Cork and Brick Something. Thank you all so much and thank you all for continuing to watch these videos. Now let's continue with the build.
There's a couple of them here. This one, this tall one, is where I'm gonna be placing the wolf head. And I also wanted to put some action figures on here so Manny, who commissioned this, can see the scale and what he can expect. Um, so this is turning out pretty great. I'm taking out these pegs. They were holding it in while this one particular pillar was glued in. Um, and uh, yeah, so I wanna say thank you all so much for watching. Please click like and subscribe and and let your friends know about the Skelevator channel. I also wanna say, if you're interested in becoming a patron of this channel, please go ahead and click on that link below. You'll get a little artwork, you'll get a Toy Frenzy sticker. And then uh, I also wanna say a big thank you, and I've done it already, but I'm gonna do it again. Thank you to Motu Origins Cork, My Buddies Customs, um, Brick Something, Carol Geis, and Don Roberts for being patrons of this channel already. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'm excited to show you the next stage. I'm going to be incorporating some plaster sheet and some plaster of Paris and fill in some of these gaps and really start to get this thing polished. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.